All right, here we are. We are at the forge right now, and we are sitting down in the dungeon with Vices. So I'm going to go ahead and let them introduce themselves, and then uh, we'll get into uh, videos and albums and songs and all kinds of stuff. I'm Sean. I play the double crutches. <laughs> I'm Dave. I'm the vocalist. Russell, play drums. Hey, what's up, I'm Andrew? I play bass. So the first thing I wanted to say is you guys did, um, I want to talk about the video with Carla. Mm -hmm. That was, I mean, I, I've interviewed them a few times. I even had the pleasure of interviewing their mothers um, <laughs> at Rock on the Range one year. But the, is she not just like, she does anything what it takes for, to do for music, doesn't she? I mean, she really does kind of put her whole self into it. Is that what she did for the video? Did you guys work yeah, closely yeah. with her? Or? Well, yeah, we just kind of like told her what we wanted and you know, like she she just went for it. I mean, she knows, yeah. she's, she's no stranger to, to doing music videos and making them look exactly how they're supposed to look. And you know, uh, she was a lot of fun to work with too. So, I mean, she it was real professional and um, it was just it was just a great experience to be all around because, you know, as having someone come in, you know, to a completely, uh, you know, I knew exactly what was going to be going on that day. I knew exactly mm -hmm. how I wanted it to look. You know, Ron, same thing. And, you know, for her to come in and to just nail it like that was just, that's awesome. You know, yeah, we got she, real lucky with that. She did. I mean, she did. I mean, even with the the um, the effects, mm -hmm. you know, and then with, you know, between the effects and her, you know, doing what she did, it just came out just incredible it was it, it's a mm -hmm. really kick-ass video we you guys definitely did covered and... her with a bunch of crap so yeah. just like... <laughs> and she's an incredible performer you've seen her live so she brought yeah. that to the room and when she was throwing down on certain parts man it was just like it was an infectious as far as inspiring you know yeah. to always step up the ante and she really definitely brought that that's what i was gonna ask did you guys actually work with her in the same room or did yeah. you guys record and then you did yeah yeah, yeah. 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 okay when she uh when she had one of her uh one of her scenes, I, I'm not really sure what, what Dave or, or Ron's inspiration was for, but we're, we're sitting in the back, and what she was doing down on the floor, she looked like she was exercising demons. I mean, it was really? terrifying. <laughs> when she was done, I was almost like, I don't even think I want to talk to this girl, man. <laughs> right, but that's just the level of performance that she puts yeah. into it. It, it was... It, it was inspiring well if you look at some of their videos their videos are kind of oh yeah i mean they're just crazy but all right so let's get to you guys <laughs> now um in, in your guys's bio it said you're from originally from chicago mm -hmm. um and still you chicago. what's that still in chicago still in chicago uh what part are you from wicker park oh okay so you said you would fly back and forth to california twice a month still do that and and you still do that, hmm? and how did you get this together? I mean, going back and forth like that, how did you come up with all these guys and... and well, Russ's brother is uh, one of my best friends, and I met Russ through him a long time ago, and we always joked about being in a band together, and uh, it just so happened um, after my band um, uh, disbanded and his band disbanded, it was kind of like one of those things where we kind of just kind of kept trying to find the right people where we were at, and it just didn't work out, so... Yeah. I just called him one day and I said, "Hey, you want to do this?" I'm like, uh, "We we we need to do this like to the, at the highest possible level. We need to get the right guys because you know I'm not gonna just fly across the country for no reason." Yeah. And here we are. So. And so I mean, is this something that you had in mind? Is this what well, everything that you you wanted also? I mean, well, absolutely. I mean, it's pretty much like you know I was playing a lot of metal bands and you know Dave was doing some active rock bands and I, I really dug what he was doing in a hard set and uh, he liked the old fashioned beat down stuff and. So there's that kind of blend of, you know, um, hard rock and metal, you know, kind of coming together. Sean and I have played in so many bands together and is an incredible guitar player and professional. So, you know, obviously when Dave was like, you know, let's start something, I called Sean immediately. And uh, Andrew and I have been friends for a very long time, too. We actually played in a band together before, too. So oh, really? it was just okay. kind of like staffing it to get the right guys in there that was going to be able to get in a van and, you know, go. <laughs> but also oh, be incredible performers and outside of it, you know, be able to go down in flames together and have a good time. So we, we found that. Is he the only one not from California? Who's that? Him. Dave? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah everybody. Who, who's that? Yeah. <laughs> Who? What? Him. Who? The, one, the only one that flies yeah, back yeah. and forth. Yeah, and, and it was really cool because when Dave was starting to do this, you know, wanted to do this, he's like, you know, I'm willing to fly out, you know, twice a month. And we actually met up with Sean at KnotFest in like 2014. And uh, Rules were reversed, though. I had the yeah, crutches yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. You had the crutches then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine walking around KnotFest all day yeah, on crutches. On crutches, oh, up yeah. and down hills. And, uh, but but long, <laughs> long story short, that's kind of like where it started was the inception there. I think that conversation really 
the three of us together having that conversation is what really got it going and then having Andrew come into the band and you know do what he does and yeah. suplexes people so we don't get hurt you know yeah. <laughs> keeps us keeps us on the up and up true story, true story. True story. Do we want to hear it? We got time? <laughs> we got time. <laughs> yeah. Well, before we get to his duplexes, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> in a nutshell, really, just to keep it quick and simple, I tell people I broke my foot in a mosh pit. Okay. Yeah, it was the uh, first, first week on tour. Uh, we were in Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, Mushroom Head went on. It said I want to go out and enjoy the show, and um, I'm just too old and too little. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't keep up with these guys anymore, man. <laughs> and that's how it happened, huh? Pretty much, yeah. yeah it, it took a hard hit, landed with all my weight on the side of my foot, foot folded, never broke a bone in my life, but instantly knew it was really? it was broken. I just knew it. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you doing on stage? Did they bring you up a chair and you got to, I mean, what? Because you guys got energy. I mean, I'm not going to lie. You guys got a Let's lot of this fucking way. energy. So we, at the beginning of the tour, when, when Mushroom Head was putting those those water drums on stage, before we knew them and where they were letting us step on them and stuff like that, um, we we're just like, oh man, we're stuck behind these <laughs> things, you know? But now they're great because he sits down and his big move is standing up on his one good foot. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we didn't lose any momentum. Really? Like at all. Nothing at, at all. all huh? No, no. And, and I mean, Sean, Sean's a trooper, man. So, you know, just like everybody else, we've kind of gone through the ringer on this on this tour, but you know what? At the same, at the end of the day, man, you got to sacrifice for your art. So, yeah. And uh, he's been kicking ass, you know. So, uh, I've seen some video footage of, of the performances, and I'm always kind of worried that people are going to look and be like, oh, that guitarist is just playing half ass. And I'm yeah. like, I'm, I'm playing half footed. Really. Half footed, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I looked at the footage, and you really can't even see when I'm sitting down. I mean, it's still looks like I'm, I'm involved so yeah. those thank you mushroom head thank you for those water drums man. Yeah. <laughs> really mean it. yeah so now well you haven't said anything over there so let's get over there to you How, um other bands that you've been in what um what made you join vices and 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 come over here other than you know it's a great band I mean you guys are a great band together but what made you come over and and we kidnapped him and forced him to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it was, in, a, in a nutshell. <laughs> kind of like old school, the black Help. band came over. And, Help! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I played in this band, uh, a Revolution Revised with uh, Russ, and um, we, we, we had a good chemistry together as far as like working on music and writing together, and we got along fairly well. Um, that band broke up just because everyone... You know, wasn't putting the music first. You know, like it would be a lot of times it'd be Russ and I like at band practice and stuff like that. People couldn't make his this or that, and then finally it just kind of fell apart. Always an excuse, though. Yeah, you know, but it it stuff like that happens. It sucks, but it happens. So Russ and I parted ways. We stayed friends, and he hits me up out of the blue. I think it's like three years later, something like that. And he's like, hey, man, what's up? And I'm thinking he's ca calling to, you know, get a beer or something or just, like, hang out. I'm like, hey, what's up, buddy? And then he hits me with, hey, so we uh going on tour in about a week and a half. Can you, like, learn a whole set list and play bass for us real quick? <laughs> <laughs> so impressive, man. Yeah. And you don't know anybody. <laughs> and also, you're going to get in a van with f me and three other strangers. <laughs> yeah. So so a whole set list, No, don't know anybody, and you said, sure, why not? Yeah, and you go out for a month. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, okay, okay. cool. That sounds great. <laughs> but it, it ended up being it ended up being great. I mean, I didn't really know what to expect, but everyone, you know, treated me really well, and we had a good time, and we had good chemistry on stage. And when they offered me the job after we came back from tour, because it was originally just kind of a fill-in situation, you know. But, um, yeah, I, I just jumped on it. Like, I, I actually had a business. Uh, I had a, st a store with two partners, and uh, I sold my share off to uh, be in the band. So. Oh really? Yeah. That's dedication. Yeah, that no, that's yeah, that's something that'll. That's why. That's where you're like, fuck, we're stuck. With <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he told me then. I was like, man, I was totally just kidding. About yeah, that. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck. You're like, you're like, hey, can you buy back? Can you buy back in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we're, we're stoked, no, Dave. Yeah, yeah, so, very lucky. And that was the thing with Dave, and that was the main thing when we were starting this band. He's like, anyone who's going to be in this band has got to be people like us, because Dave and I were always the guys that in our bands that were hustling, doing the work, managing the band, you know, finding the money for the band, doing everything we needed to do. Yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, and we needed those kind of people, you know, all the yeah. way around, and that's what we got, and that's why we're here, you know. So the name Vices, where'd you get that? Well, Vices is kind of like a universal thing. Everybody's got vices. Right. Everybody's got that that dark side to themselves, um, you know, and uh, it's a very relatable 
is a very relatable topic. You know, we don't write about nice stuff. You know, it's, right. it's you know, music for me is my therapy. So I kind of write about, you know, things that have affected me or situations or whatever. And, 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 and everybody's it's, it's, it's interesting when we sit down and people tell us what they think our songs are about. I love that. That's my favorite thing to do to, to when someone's like, oh, man, I think this song's about this and this and this. And, and it's on the same wavelength of what it's about. Yeah. But it's something totally different. It meant something totally different to somebody. So you related to somebody that closely on that level, you know, and, and it's usually about someone's vice. You yeah. know what I mean? So um, <laughs> that's, you know, that's basically where, where we were coming with, um, coming from with the, with the name Vices, too. Well, so. it says you guys, you, you guys write about the dark side of life. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you said, the vices. So it yeah. is about the dark side of, you know, Mm -hmm. of what you are and that's you know people can relate to you know your mm -hmm. different songs and and like you said in different levels and different ways mm -hmm. and different angles and it, you know it's got to be kind of rewarding when you think somebody comes up to you and you're like well we wrote it you know you're thinking to yourself well we wrote it for this but that's really cool you think about it that mm -hmm. way you know so that that's got to be really cool to i never to really ask. tell anybody what they're really about yeah everything no. every time people ask me what a song's about i say the most I, get, I, I tell them what it's about, but in the most, like, broad way. Yeah. You know? Well, you don't want to... You want it to... to I don't want to be like, hey, just pigeonhole the song. Like, this is what it's about. Right. And I hate them. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. You, yeah, exactly. You want you want people to be able to relate to yes. the song however they relate to exactly. it. And then when they come to you, you're like, yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's Dude, exactly it. I just it. like to listen, to be honest. It's... it's, it's very very flattering and very very cool like, when you connect with somebody on that level yeah. i think that's probably one of the most my favorite things about music is is you know like when you're on stage and someone is, is singing your song back to you and because it, it means that much to them you yeah know? that's like my favorite like i, I do that at, at concerts that, that i love the bands I'm yeah like, i sing those songs like, here, here comes that part and it gives me the chills and i can feel it you know it's yeah. like, that's the, that's that's the best feeling in the world that's that's like that i think that's why i play music to be honest to get that feeling yeah because the best feeling in the world you know so what was what was some of your inspirations of, of music? What what you know what made you want to pick up an instrument or sing or whatever? What what was what was the first time you picked it up? Was it family? Was it something you heard or Woodstock? Woodstock '94, watching Metallica play. Really? Yeah, it's the reason I play on ESP guitars. It's the reason I picked up a guitar. I, uh, I don't care what anybody says. Metallica is still one of my favorite bands in the world, and those are the guys that inspired me to play. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. I saw, I act, and I tell the story because everybody thinks I, I saw Metallica open for Ozzy nice. in wow. in '86. Mm -hmm. I think it was '86. <coughs> and was get out of here, yeah. Gabriel. Yeah. yeah, get out of here, <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel. The apocalypse just uh, running by. Um, but yeah, it was that. Yeah, it was the ride to lightning, and it was you know, it was just an awesome an awesome concert mm -hmm. but and, and that was the first time i saw metallica and it was just you know i've been a Meta well those guys are still selling out arenas because they still put on one of the best shows on the planet and yeah. if you haven't seen metallica go see metallica it's one of the best <laughs> live shows you'll ever see just great live band it, it, they, they really are that was my first concert Metall well, metallica danzig and suicidal tendencies oh shit and, and what cracked me up was the singer from suicidal tendencies has broken his <laughs> foot uh <laughs> two days before so they put him they just brought out this like old broke ass couch and they just sat him on a couch on this huge amphitheater stage <laughs> <laughs> and that's where he sat so it was just kind of funny yeah. i remember growing up with suicidal tendencies and they had their when we went to see him back in the 80s they had this big huge penis come out from behind the stage it was just it was just like a big that and beastie boys that's who it was beastie that's boys right. yeah it was just big fucking penis it just like got a big old heart on it came out the stage and just sat there that's where you're at yep <laughs> so what was yours rock and roll pretty much found me because i was i was you know growing up around jazz and pop music with my parents okay. and stuff and then uh you know i discovered motley Crue. And uh, luckily, I got really bad grades in school, so I, <laughs> so my dad took me out of baseball, you know. And then yeah. I had time on my hands, and that's when I discovered MTV and Motley Crue, and that's when I went to my first show, which was Crue. And oh, was it? Yeah, and it just kind of that just changed everything. I'd never seen anything like it because I grew up around show bands and okay. big bands and things like that. And then all of a sudden, it was just like pyro and tattoos and <laughs> you know, girls and you yeah. know, energy. And what what was your deal. what was so, your concert? Which one? Do you Doc Feel Good. Oh, okay. Yeah, Doc Feel Good. So. Yeah, it was really cool. So I just kind of told my mom that night. So I'm going to do it for the rest of my life. And here I am today yeah, here in you Joliet. Are. And that, that was my first concert, actually. Oh, Autograph really? opened for Motley Crue in 84. Oh, right oh, wow. Yeah. Well, was, that would have been good. Oh, it was Shout fucking awesome. Shout out to awesome. Devil. Oh, yeah, it was like, fucking yeah. awesome. Oh, my God. It was just 
that was the, even if it was my first one it was because you know Motley Crue was just awesome back then I mean, oh yeah you know oh, it, yeah. they first started they were young and can jump around and now you know, you know they, they just can't do that. so what was yours um I couldn't even tell you the name of the who played it was like a it was like a punk show in like downtown LA uh my uncle would take me with a bunch of his friends because my, my uncle's only like seven years older than me Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> so like we would get in trouble together. So like I never really called him <laughs> Uncle Oscar. I just called him Grim. <laughs> you know. But uh, he took me to this punk show, and I just remember like the whole atmosphere. Like everyone was like, "There's mosh pits going on. People helping each other up when they're falling. The bands on stage. The guys like, let me hear you scream and like let me see that pit move. And the, just the energy and the music. And I was like, I want to do that. Yeah. That's what I want to do. That's awesome. <laughs> you know. And then um. He he had, uh, he he got me into a lot of music because he, he's a, he's a very musical person too. Like okay. he doesn't play music anymore, but he he showed me a bunch of bands and he he actually taught me how to play bass a little bit too. So okay. well, he showed me the basics because he was just like, all right, dude, well, you gotta figure this out on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta show you so much. Off in the wild. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he showed me the way, and uh, yeah, yeah. So that's basically okay. how I got into it. So it's kind of like here here's here's the boat. He throw you in the water and go. Yeah, and I dude, I you can stop me, man. I was just like on the computer with like dial up AOL so I'd be waiting for tabs like me and just like fucking slowly loading yeah. like, and then but it got to, it got to the point where I was just like I just started learning by ear because like it's our internet was so slow like looking up tabs was a nightmare yeah <laughs> so what's up next for you guys after um after this tour what what's going on uh we've got a fly date we're gonna go play a festival in uh, Wisconsin so these guys are gonna come back out here and we're gonna go out uh, we we did it last year it's called uh, music fights back okay and it's like a big charity event um, they raise money for kids with cancer oh, okay. uh, and they buy iPods for them and fill, oh, no. fill their iPods with music for them so I think that's a really good thing and uh, so we're really happy to be a part of that so we're doing that uh, at the end of June and then we head out with uh, Power Man 5000 in July and August okay and then hopefully uh, we'll have some stuff lined up for fall too have some more you're going to be just keep going through the fall keep and, going yeah keep and going. then we should also uh we should all also let you know we have new music on the way we're we're making new cds we're we're getting some new material released okay uh, we've kind of been sitting on the same material for a long time so we're really excited about getting some new music out what's that'll, what's the hold up that'll be, that'll be coming up uh, in july and august so the new releases mm -hmm. so is it gonna be a complete new album or it's gonna be a new ep new ep okay yeah. so that june and july we gotta watch for that from them um and then after that just whatever comes your way i uh, just gonna keep keep rocking stay on the road and you know just try to meet as many people and uh get be in front of as many people as we possibly can so we can keep spreading you know spreading what we've got going on here you know this tour yeah. that we've been on currently has been fantastic yeah you know being main support is the best you know the best oh, spot yeah. it's, it's it's great and uh, being in front of mushroom heads uh, crowd has been awesome too they've been yeah. really really receptive to us you know uh, you know them being that kind of close f fan group you know like a group of fans for them is is, right. is and them accepting us is very very cool so, so I wanted to tell you because I know you said like you guys were talking about sleeping in the van and you know <laughs> did loan your own stuff um, if you guys ever need like and I know you guys have a management and they you know set you up with everything mm -hmm. but we have an app called Asgard Connect. It's free download, and it connects you with people around the country that will put you up uh, for free, um, as long as you let them know ahead of time at their house. Show up. And yeah, you don't just show up at oh, five in the morning. House. Yeah. Come on, Bill. <laughs> yeah, and it also the handle the Tito's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, and that. then it also hooks you up with uh, book, booking personnel and um, mm -hmm. venues. Great. So you can be in contact with other people. You know, just uh, awesome. so it saves it saves everybody money. It saves you guys money. Like. I'm an hour away through Northwest Indiana, so if you guys, you know, come through, get call me and say, hey, we need a place to stay. I got floor room as long as you can share it with a cat, two cats and a dog, you know. Right. So, right. but other than that, I mean, you know, it, it's for <laughs> it's um it's for bands that you know are looking to save money. Obviously, you guys want to say Asgard Connect. Yeah, and it connects you with people that let you stay at their house and uh, booking personnel, so and, and venues and stuff. So, and it's free download for you guys. It's free for everybody. So I just I want to let you guys know, just in case it. you guys ever need like a one off or something somewhere when you guys start touring, you know, in between, uh, like Mushroom Man and Power Man Five Thousand or you know whomever. If you guys need a one off somewhere, you can just call them up and say, "Hey, you got something going on." I mean, shit, you just 
that's great jump on a show somewhere so great. Totally looking at that. so yeah i mean it, it's i started it and it's it seems to be well receptive but it's just getting people to say okay yeah i'll put my name on it for people but they don't have to put like their whole all their information just their name and their phone number and their state that's all i'm looking for so you know that way you can't just show up at their house you know you give sure. them a call a couple days in advance and say hey you know we're coming through can you you know help us out so, like email addresses fire off yeah something yeah oh. so but yeah so there if you guys need that and like i said i'm in northwest indiana and i got I, I, my doors are always open i don't even lock my door at night <laughs> I, I don't i i I don't even. I have a dog and Can't guns. Get around here. Yeah, <laughs> I have a door and gun, so I don't worry about that. <laughs> but uh, um, all right, well, I will let you guys go, and uh, we'll get upstairs and, and enjoy some more of the Appreciate show. It. And uh, I know you guys want to rest before you guys go on, because you guys are powerful. You guys got one hell of a show. I, I, you guys are just incredible on stage. You're one, and I know I'm supposed to be biased, but you're one of my favorite acts on stage. <laughs> so no, I'm no, not no, gonna. No, hey, no, shh, no. We're gonna cut that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but we will hopefully see you guys again soon, and um, we'll uh, hopefully talk to you guys again next time you guys come around here. Yeah, absolutely. So, Thanks, all right, man. this is Vices. Check them out. It's V Y C E S. Check them out, and we'll see you later on Asgard Radio.